In this video, we have a preview of a new BSD. So, loading this up on my test machine, uh, this is going to be Aris Blue BSD, which is a spiritual continuation of Fury BSD. Uh, I think the developer's name is Kai and belongs to a group called Five Necks or Fivnix and apart from that I don't know much about this uh, this is a um, well this is a, a beta uh, preview there is some work to be done uh, but they seem to be cracking on with it it loads up to a nice uh, login manager and as you can see it's got the basic layout the default session uh, it says is XFCE uh, which is not too bad and the default key keyboard layout is uh, US you've got a, a restart or reboot and a power off and yeah no goes left and right there one single user called live user uh, to log in its root with no password it's not something I would recommend but we just it's a preview so we'll we'll carry on and as you can see there's a, an XFCE 4.14 I think uh, screen there got live user uh, sound no network indicator I presume we connected uh, collection of icons and the programs you get included uh, I think this is the usual things that you get with XFCE uh, yep ah uh, yeah well there's Firefox there and the WPA install guide that and when we delete configurations uh sys control view and yes it's 4.14 so okay it's pretty standard so far um now it's on the desktop you've got configure wi-fi and you've got trash obviously the waste bin you've got file system Home folder. You've got create Fu uh, Fury BSD live media, which I think is uh, hung on from Fury BSD. We'll try launching it and see what happens. Yeah, it's going to be performed. Configure Xorg. And nothing happens there. Like I said, this is a beta, so there's, there's, it's a work in progress. Um continue install and no it's not gonna let me do this and so yeah uh, we'll try this one and again it's the same ah, well not comes up on that one anyway we'll just put them to this side and uh, that one there oh right okay now it launches now yeah not again so I'll we'll just carry on putting that there, and that there, and that there. Yeah, these ones unfortunately don't work, so that's a work in progress and they'll be fixed. There's the sound, do not disturb, bell notifications, calendar, live user. So there's no network indicator, so I'm just going to, I'll check that out later. We'll have a look at desktop settings. For those who are interested in wallpapers, there's only three. But then again, you know, this is not the point of this particular release. Not pretty standard stuff so far. Right. Okay, that's quite speedy. Yeah, there's a... Uh, yeah, I didn't think it'd work. This computer does get a little bit funky when it comes to uh, networking. It always has problems with the DHCP, so... We're on 82.0.3. Let's close that down. So, okay. So, we're just going to set up networking now, I think. Use BSD config. And go down to uh, network management. Oh, pretty cool. Yes, we'll just uh, let's fast forward this. Right, having configured uh, the networking, we're going to try it out. We've got ping Google. Yeah, it's working. Not a problem. You know, BSD config is a, is a, is a brilliant tool. It really is. And 
and Firefox again. We'll try it again. We're going to go to the Aris Blue website. We'll have a look see what it says. Arisblue.com. Well, it's kind of a nice looking website. Uh, very modern. The general descriptions. Aris Blue is an attempt to build a BSD live CD that is not only powerful, but user friendly and customizable at its core. Well, we'll see. They have a good start so far. Yeah, released at the same time as FreeBSD. Yeah, it's based upon FreeBSD 12.2. And yeah, it's not a problem with this website, but I do wish websites would use a darker uh, color against a, a white background. Right, this is on GitHub. Yeah, the version that I'm actually testing, I downloaded from the main website, not GitHub. The GitHub one had a problem where it wouldn't boot into a uh, graphical user interface. So the one I downloaded from the main website actually did. So I don't know what's uh, going on there. Right, we're going to install LibreOffice. I've already updated the system as uh, previously, so I'll say it's up to date. But... Uh, We'll upgrade and see what's available. Ah. One XFCE4-.com. Okay. And we're just going to search for the English uh, LibreOffice pack. There we go. Just put that one. And it'll pull in everything else as well. So. Okay. Well, we'll just... Uh, Skip this, and here we are, it's finished. And there's LibreOffice, absolutely brilliant. And it loads up, um, it's loading up pretty quick. Right, we're just gonna do handle law. There we go. And the version we're using is 7.0.3.1. .3 Very nice. So we have access to all the basic uh, functionality. The configuration utils don't seem to work, but they will do later. Um, it seems fairly speedy, and it is really just FreeBSD with a pre-configured GUI on top. So you could, if you wanted to uh, have a quick uh, up and going system, you could use this. But overall, it's not too bad. Uh, I think the uh, the developers are, are on the right track. You know, continuing Fury BSD, which Fury BSD was gaining popularity and traction, and it just seems a shame that the the developers behind that decided to uh, close shop and go. It's work in progress. There are one or two rough edges, but I think it's going in the right direction, and it's a fantastic ideal to want to carry on the work that was already set up by Fury BSD. I wish the developers well, and I hope they carry on, and hopefully they will go a bit beyond what FuelBSD did. And if nothing else, the developers really don't lack ambition, which is never a bad thing. So head over to the website uh, or check out their GitHub, download a version for yourself and give it a try. And if you've got any feedback, then let them know via Twitter or drop a message on GitHub for them, just to let them know how they're doing and how you feel that they could be improving. Anyway, this was just a preview. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Yeah.